Hello everyone, I am Trestor44 and welcome to this let's play of Geneforge 4. Well, we helped out Elisa in the western bunker, now we gotta help out the guy in the central bunker. Sharpto, I believe his name was. He was a guardian from what we were told, so let's go down and say hi. Hmm. You are at the entrance to a large subterranean bunker. Like most such shaper complexes, it is far underground, both to protect it from the outside world and to provide the outside world protection from it. These caves are not empty. At first you think that you are hearing voices. Then you realize that you are detecting them with your mind, not your ears. It is a cacophony of voices, incomprehensible, at the edge of perception. As you try to tease some meaning out of the voices, you detect two that are distinct. One is louder, more powerful. This must be a shaper. And another is quiet and angry, a discordant note, fighting the others. Interesting. Well, we're allowed entrance, at least. That's good. I wonder what that other note is. Shafto, that was it, not Sharpto. Ah. There is a guardian standing on the platform in the middle of this room. His hall is full of shaper machinery, and he is part of it. Tendrils of crystal fiber crawl up his legs and poke under his armor, feeding him essence and power. At first, he stands perfectly still. When you approach, he raises his hand to lift his visor and inspect you. He is young and unshaven. The power that fills him has changed him, making him seem more like a waxwork than a human. He lowers the visor, drops his hand, and returns to his motionless vigil. You hear his voice coming out from out of his helmet, low and flat. I am Shafto, servant of the Shaper's avatar of the Barrier Zone. I do not appreciate distractions, especially not from one who has been touched by forbidden shaping. I sense it in you. You are corrupted. Why have you come to me? I wish to speak with you. Shafto is silent for a full minute. You start to think that he didn't hear you. No. I am caused difficulties by discordant elements. I cannot afford the distraction, especially with one who has been corrupted. I cannot speak with you. I am tasked by General Alwyn to help Mose. I need your assistance. Shafto is silent for a full minute. You start to think that he didn't hear you. Ah, oh, good. Help has arrived, even in a corrupted form. It is better than nothing. I will ignore your corruption. I will even ignore that you are a rogue servile, normally worthy of nothing but harsh discipline. I will give you some of my precious attention, since you might help repair the barrier. What exactly are you doing here? I am one of the three defenders of the barrier zone. We three have volunteered to take on the burden, to create many creations, and to tirelessly use our will to control them and patrol the lands above. We do this because it is our duty, and we need to do this because of the many shapers murdered by the rebels. It is a long vigil, but we each have our own technique for sustaining ourselves without sleep or rest or food. How do you sustain yourself? With my minds. I made four of them, and three of them are still strong and sure. They are merged with me, fully controlled extensions of myself. They are my tools, parts of my mind. When rest is needed, they rest from me. And one day, when my task is done, I will try to separate from them. Hopefully, I will survive. How do the others sustain themselves? You will have to ask them. Though Mace's technique was clearly not adequate. Alright. Uh, tell me about the Shapers in the other bunkers. To the west is Eliza, to the east is Mosa, both tested, both inferior. Tell me about Eliza. She trusts her magical machinery to help her. Machinery is a good tool, but one should not trust it for a task such as this. Only once its creation's flesh and essence can be trusted to so much. Tell me about Mose. Mose was the strongest of us at the start. He thought he could maintain the vigil without aid. See where that left us. Something must be done to free him of his madness, otherwise we must kill him to keep his rogues from dragging us down. I believe that I can help Mose if you take over the burden of his creations briefly. Can you do this? Shafto thinks about this for several long, awkward minutes. Because of his responsibilities, he has a hard time concentrating. It is a good idea, but I am constantly distracted. There are elements that act against me, that try to take control from me, that try to make rogues. If you can help me remove these distractions, I can help you. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yes, you
You can purge the broken elements that provide distractions. If you do this, I will be intact once again and I can provide a strong defense. First, one of the servant mines I created to aid me has gone mad. It is twisted. It was poorly made. I have separated myself from it, but it still disrupts my senses. It is rogue. Destroy it. Where is it? To the north, in the northwestern alcove. How can I destroy it? Weapons, spells, the usual ways, I think. Alright, thank you. Well, this is interesting. This way is probably the way into... Yeah, this is it. That way leads to the eastern bunker. To Mose. Oh, that's interesting. So, one decided to trust on machinery in order to keep herself alive. Interesting. The other has is trusting in his creations. What did the third do? Anything at all? Still, it's interesting the length these guys are going. Blames, I mean. Whatever, you know what I mean. It's interesting how far these guys are going in order to, well... You know. You can see several alcoves just off the, this main corridor. At the end of each is a servant mine, lost in concentration. These mines must be tasked with helping to create and control Shafto's creations. There is a servant mine in this chamber, muttering quietly to itself. Occasionally, you hear bubbling and hissing sounds coming from the shaping vats in the alcoves to the sides. You try to get it to speak with you, but it is lost in concentration. Doing its work for Shafto is demanding all of its already considerable mental abilities. Hmm. I am at, that was Mind Alpha. Mind Beta, same thing. Northwest corner, so it's probably up there. And this is Mind Delta. There are bones on the floor ahead, surrounded by black, greasy smears. There are scorch marks on the walls. You sense a hostile presence ahead, disturbing the air with bitter, angry thoughts. This must be the source of the discordant presence you th felt when you first entered the bunker. It is rare for a servant mind to go rogue. Very rare. But not impossible. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Ah! Slowed! Oh dear. When the servant mind in this chamber sees you, it hisses. The pool is of essence to either side of it bubble and spit. The shaping vats in the alcoves begin to slowly swing open. It comes! It comes at last! Murder! Murder! Shafta will murder me! After all, after all, you will not kill me! I defy you! Even if it was willing to listen to you, the highly developed brain of a servant mind is very difficult to influence with words. Battle or flight are the only options. Oh dear! Well, this is going to be rough. Especially because we're all slowed. Something tells me we're going to end up dead here. Yeah, dead I go. Fortunately, this time I was smart enough to save ahead of time. So, let's see here. That. That. Oh, the speed already wore off. Alright. Charge. At least I could get in there. Yeah, the speed already wore off my creations, but I still have it. Ha! Huh. Oh, jeez. And the servant mind is dead. So there's that. Oi! Ow. Come back, please. Ah. Stop that. Come on, finish off these creations. Ow. Ow. Stop that. Leave my creations alone. I said stop that. There we go. Okay. Well, that went better than expected. Only kind of wasted an item. Oh well, at least we got rid of it. Alright, so it's taken care of. The rogue servant mind is dead. Oh yes, the silence. 
actual moments of peace. Now I can be tranquil. You have done well. Disposing of the rogue was a great help. I am almost tranquil. There is more you can do for me, though. There is another destruction. <sighs> what else can I do to help you? I have made many creations to defend the ruins above. Good creations. Though sometimes I have been a bit too clever. Taken chances. Tried to make better. I have made robes. Most I destroyed. Two escaped. They were meant to be clever. Independent hunters. Now they are in the ruins above. Working for me. Trying to submerge my proper creations. I named them. They are Kraso and Mistithus. Search the ruins above. Destroy one of them for me. Well, I actually managed to uh, destroy both of them. Then the flaws in my system are fixed. The impurities are cleaned away. My mind is at peace. My defense against rebel scum are secure. You have done well for the Shapers. I can reward you for this. Some of the doors in this complex will now be unlocked. Take what you find if you think it might aid you in the service of the Shapers. I can, now that you have aided me. Go tell Mosa. When he releases control and rests, I will take control of his creations. You may yet atone for the corruption you have let within yourself. Beware, though. Mosa, in his current maddened state, is dangerous. It may be a struggle to get him to listen to reason. In fact, it may be a struggle to survive meeting him. Huh. He actually opened doors for us. I didn't even realize that. Maybe there were doors opened elsewhere. In, uh, in Elise's place. This is a small reference library for the shapers who worked on making these bunkers. The schematics and records in this book make no sense to you. One note left between two pages is more interesting. Before I found I should volunteer for this lonely vigil, I was going to lead an expedition to seize the Burwood Province Enchanted Anvil. Not just for glory, and not just to serve the shapers, but to use a technique my old master imparted to me for use on a perfected pair of shaped greaves. It is a fearsome process, requiring the placement of phalanges and spikes bought from essence-infused iron, and then the device must be bathed in blood poison. The result is one to inspire fear in an enemy. Of course, I also need to find the iron and the poison. Perhaps it can be looted from a rebel stronghold post-destruction. Phalanges and spikes forged from essence-infused iron? What the hell is that? Well, we have the blood poison, at least. Oop, forgot to save the notes. And nothing else in here. Oh well. Wait, what was that? Is that... Yeah. Yeah, it is. What is it with shapers and lusty Fjorin maids? Jeez. Alright, let me take a look in this door down here. See if there's anything of use in here. And I think this is mostly like a resting place. Ooh! Well, those are useful. Adding coins. Yes, please recharge me. I need it. Thank you. Okay. And that's just a cooking place. Okay. Now. Let me take a look to the west. I'm not sure if the doors over there opened up. Hold on, hold on, I just realized I missed a door up here. <laughs> I am stupid. Or at least not very observant. <laughs> ah, good, it does open. Ooh, and it's a storage room with salt weed, mandrake tincture, nice. Uh, fine skin. Beautiful crystal, bar of iron, charging stone. We're getting quite a bit of stuff here. Shaped gauntlets, shaped belt, and major healing spores. Wow, we grabbed a lot from this. All right, you know what? I'm going to go uh, deposit this stuff and then, and then see if those doors in the in Elise's place open. So, does the door open? It does not. Come on, really? Well, that sucks. And is highly unfortunate. Okay, then. Well, in that case, I think next episode we'll take a look at the area above where Mose is first. Clear out his creations. Kill them. More easily. Then we'll visit Mose. 
But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chester44, that is Enrique, Moyes, and Faye. This has been a Gene Forge 4 Let's Play, and I will see you all next time.